like how was school for you? Like high school, uh, middle school, high school? School, like, what was that like? school. Yeah. yeah, school was good for me. Um, elementary school, I ran track most okay. of it. Um, I was really, really fast. That was one of my my go tos forever was track. Um, and so I actually got pregnant with my son, and then it changed. No doubt, no doubt. <laughs> it slowed me down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it yeah, I bet. Away, yeah, I bet. <laughs> you get you be wilding yeah. out there. You ain't running no more, right? <laughs> no doubt. Right. But I ran track most of elementary. I had a whole bunch of friends. Everybody that lived on my block went to my school. So. Mm -hmm. All friends. Um, middle school uh, was the same thing. High school, when it sort of transitioned a little bit, um, I got along with people, had a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. But um, I remember I really got my heart broke from uh, the track. I was the fastest person since elementary school in my yeah. school. And then I got to high school and they had a student assistant. Mm -hmm. And as soon as they had a friend and she decided that she was going to let her friend be the fastest person in school. Mm -hmm. So she, she cheated on the race. And then when I tried to explain, like, oh, we could race right now, like, we could check yeah, the yeah. numbers. They took it as, you know, I was just upset because somebody beat my record. So I wound up quitting. And then that mm -hmm. was it for that time for track and then got into boys. Right. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trouble. <laughs> Trey, one vice for the next, right? <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. So I know from your, I know from 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 basically your um, your online presence that you're also, and what we talked about earlier, you're also a nurse. So did you immediately jump into the medical field to do nursing, or was that something that you did later? So soon as I actually got pregnant with my son, I uh, you know focused on finishing out high school. Once mm -hmm. I did that. Um, the first thing I did was go to a youth program that mm -hmm. actually I helped people. I was doing mentoring. You might have heard of a city year. City yes. Year program. When they wore the red jackets, the uh, khakis, yes. and, and the, the Timberlands. <laughs> we had, we, listen, where I'm, where I'm from in Columbus, Ohio, <laughs> the big city, Columbus, Ohio, we had city year people, and they used to meet at the state capitol like every morning at like seven yes. or eight in the morning. And we're like, man, what are y'all doing? Like, then I guess like one of the big draws was that they got to keep the Tims and the khakis yeah. in the book bag. I was like, well, I right, don't wear that jacket. Like, <laughs> the big no, this is no just the city here because I knew I knew a lot of people that came out of that that actually are very productive people in society. But it was just something yeah. that we used to we used to snap on back when we was younger. So, I know, so I you was a city year person, story. okay? Yes, I okay. was. And they used to be like, you really, you really wear them big red jackets? I'm like, yeah, really. Man. <laughs> wear them big red jackets. So. That's what's up. That's what's up. But they stood out because everybody knew them for the jackets. Everybody for knew sure. them. So. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I, I'm, I'm definitely hip. So, um, <laughs> so you said you did, you did the city year thing, then you did nursing. Yeah. So, yep. So the city, the good thing about the city year program is they give you, depending on how many years you were there. So I went for a year. They mm -hmm. wanted me to be um, an advisor, but I already knew I wanted to go to nursing school. So I did my year. They gave me four thousand something towards school, and that's I went what's to up. Yep. Wow, that's what's up. I, I I didn't realize that they gave an educational incentive. I mean, it makes sense. Yep. I guess y'all went around to like the. Um, the rough elementary schools and would help tutor the kids. So, yep. I mean, yep. it makes sense that that's kind of, that's kind of, that's kind of like a, um, like a, uh, job, not job corps, but, a um, peace corps type thing, yep. but it was actually in the city. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. That, that's, that's what's up. So mm -hmm. anybody else watching this out there, if you heard me <laughs> talk about you back in the day, I apologize. Didn't realize <laughs> that that's, that's the things that y'all, that those were the bonuses that y'all were getting because of what you were putting yeah. in. So, that's awesome. So, um, did you immediately go? You I, obviously you're RN now, right? Or BSN yep. or? Yep, I have my associates. Yep. Okay. So, so LPN. Yep. LPN. Okay. So, you went and did that immediately after you went to school in what PA or? In Philly, yeah, I, I mean? went to school. Yeah, I went to school in in Philly. Yep, I okay. started school in Philly, and then um, I just worked my way up. So as soon as I got the littlest degree, which was, um, I think I got a personal care assistant first. Mm -hmm. So I had got that, and I started working because I didn't want to just go to school and not be able to provide. I already knew I needed my own place, my own car, I had a son. So most definitely. Um, 
Yep, I worked my way up, worked my way up, and just by the time I got in the hospital, I worked at uh, Pennsylvania Hospital. By the time I got okay. there, they paid for me to go back to school, get my LPN. Yep, that's that's awesome. So then you, so then now you out in the Poconos, and yep. um, <laughs> what'd you do out there? The same thing. You you still yeah, medical field? Yep. Okay, yep. So okay. I transfer my. Yep, they let me transfer my license and do what I had to do to go work out there. Yep. Now. Now, one of the aspects that we talk about on this podcast, I mean, we're big on the military. Uh, we're big on law enforcement, like huge on law enforcement. But another thing that I feel is an important concept that people need to know or that need, people need to need to kind of get their mind around is survival. And that's one of the reasons also that you are here because um, you are a survivor. So um, how did you actually start getting into, into doing that? 